everyone, Lewis here. Welcome to a new episode of Autism Talk. There's a side to me I want to talk about. I am autistic. My case is mild, also known as Asperger's Syndrome. Today, I'll be talking about autism and danger awareness. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This video is inspired by What's Eating Gilbert Grape, along with real life inc incidents that I heard about while watching the news, which in the last video I mentioned about this very subject. Like Arnie, those who are severely autistic don't understand about some of the things they do can be dangerous. For example, in the movie, Arnie would climb trees and jump from them and even made a dangerous climb up the water tower, which at the beginning of the movie, he lost one of his shoes and he could have fallen to his death. In the middle of the story, he climbed all the way up to the top of that same water tower, not to mention making it to the top of the roof, which led to his rescue by the fire department and arrest by the sheriff's deputies after being warned numerous times about climbing the tower. In real life, similar incidents have happened, but not as extreme as depicted in the movie. Some instances of real life incidents involving some autistic kids will not understand that playing with knives will get them hurt or killed, to even being around water too. In the news, some instances incidents like the brother of YouTuber MGG Secondary in 2006. His brother Scott ran away from his group home and was killed after being hit by a car. Then there have been several incidents where autistic kids have drowned in water, whether it was in swimming pools, ponds, lakes, rivers, even the ocean. Like the incident with Scott because he doesn't understand about traffic safety, which requires you to look both ways before crossing, crossing at a light when it's green or a sign. Some times when autistic kids run away and go missing, they don't understand that the area around them is dangerous. Like once here in Philadelphia, a 13-year-old boy ran away from home. It took them days to finally find him. He was found safe and alive. There have been other incidents where these stories don't have a happy ending and end up in tragedy. And of course, another example of dangers that affect those who are on the spectrum who don't understand just like normal toddlers it can in include sticking their fingers, butter knives or forks into electrical sockets which leads to electric shock to even playing with fire and of course putting things in your mouth and choking and of course, also playing with things that are not meant to be played with, which could lead to serious injury. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times, when heading out, only wear a mask. If you're not vaccinated or if you are vaccinated and you're around someone who's not vaccinated, carry the mask with you just in case. Wash your hands, get vaccinated, and of course, be sure to convince those who aren't vaccinated to get vaccinated. And lastly, stay safe. Stay healthy and together we are finally getting through these dark times together.